For the next hour, you belong to us. We'll bring you the very best in unpicked, unsigned rock and metal. Don't worry, you're in safe hands. We are two bucks. <laughs> Welcome back to the Two Box Rock Show. Yes, I'm nearly fixed now. You can probably tell from the wheeziness of my chest that um, something's been going on. And to be honest, for the last three weeks, I've not really been able to string two words together without coughing my lungs out. And if any of you have ever met me, you'll know that that's not a pretty sight. I can tell you. Well, in this show, I'm going to be introducing some new bands that you might or might not have heard already. I can guarantee you'll be hearing more of them, and quite possibly you'll be seeing some of them next year when Two Books starts up again, forcing you to watch some live music for um, almost nothing at all at the Lower Georgian in Gloucester. So I'm going to concentrate this week on new stuff, new bands, new material, and the occasional track that I haven't played for quite a while. So let's get things underway. This is a new track, it's not a new band. They are, for my money anyway, one of the most important bands on the unsigned scene at the moment. They are the instigators of Headbangers Balls. The very reason that you guys are allowed to fill your man parts while you're at gigs now. Just in case, you know, better safe than sorry. They are, of course, Reign of Fury. And this is the first single from their new album, Death Be Thy Shepherd. It's called the gates of sanity and it is absolutely fantastic.
Yes, a bit of We Did Come Out. That is the first single from Rain of Fury's new album, Death Be Thy Shepherd. It's called The Gates of Sanity. And if you can still move your necks, you haven't got your speakers turned up loud enough. Right, so while you sort out your volume issues, I'm going to introduce you to the first of the new bands that I was talking about. These guys are called Sacrilege. They are Bill Beadle, Neil Turnbull and Jeff Rowland. And if you're knocking on for my sort of age, the name Sacrilege will mean something to you from back in the 80s. Well, this band, Sacrilege, are the very same bunch of rock monsters from the 80s. They've reformed and um, they're coming back at us. These guys are the original new wave of British heavy metal. And as we're still in November and Remembrance Day is still fairly fresh in our memories, I'm going to play a track from their album, which is quite long to be honest for a radio show, but I don't care. It's called The Unknown Soldier. It is awesome. And for us old forces fellas, me, Vinny, Wilf even, even if he's not an old forces fella, it'll be an awesome introduction to the band. So this is Sacrilege making their debut on the Two Bucks Rock Show with a track called The Unknown Soldier.
So that's the first of five bands that I'm debuting on the show this week. They're called Sacrilege. That track is called The Unknown Soldier. How awesome is that song? Right, sticking with new bands. As I said, there are five of them. And they're all completely different styles of music. The next band I want to introduce you to are called Section 19. They're electro trash, punk rock. Oh, completely different to anything else we've had on the show. And the list of bands that they've put down as influences is basically a trip through my record collection. It's amazing. They're a three-piece band. They consist of Zero on guitar, vocals and synth. Toxic Terry on bass and vocals. And Bang Bang on drums and vocals. And the track that I'm going to use to introduce them to you with is their current single. They do an awesome, if not slightly quirky, cover version of Black and White, the old Michael Jackson classic. Um, which I reckon, if you could attach some sort of generator to the, uh, the grave of Michael Jackson, he would spin fast enough to probably power most of America. But with cover versions, you either do an exact copy, or you make it yours. And let's face it, the Michael Jackson version is Michael Jackson's. So, if you want to do yourself a copy of Black and White, you make it your own version. And they've most certainly done that. You'll find that on their Facebook page, along with a track that you can download called Asbo. But as I said, this is their current single, and it's taken from their forthcoming debut album, which is to be called Harder, Faster, Nowhere. This is section 19, with a track called Addict. When I met you, I had to learn twice to forget you. I tried so hard to reject you, but you were in my mind. Do you say that it's gonna be a part of the flavor? And I don't know how I can tell you, could I be out of mind? Do you take it? It's gonna be hard to shake it And I don't know how to respect it Or leaving the past behind Yeah. 
So that was your second brand new band, they're called Section 19, they're much more electro punk than we normally play, and I like that. So why don't you wade in on the Two Bucks page and let me know what you think about it. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the new bands and play an old band that I haven't played for a long, long time. They're Alien Stash Tin, they've been my pleasure on a couple of occasions, I can tell you. Well, this is a track from their album on a pinstripe planet which you can pick up at any of our gigs to be honest we've got a couple left and when we run out they'll just send us some more or turn up play a gig and leave us some more so this is they alien stash tin this is a track called then turn blues <laughs>
I'll love you now, that's no laughing matter. Down turn blues there, alien stash tin. Always welcome on the show. And which show is that? It's a two box rock show. Yep, it's the two box rock show. Right, let's get back to the new bands then. We've got a few left. And the next band are from Swansea. They're called Dark Sight. And they are Ronan on vocals, Ads on guitars, Davey on drums. And they appear to be without a bass player at the moment due to personal commitments of the previous bass player. But I'll keep an eye on that situation, and as soon as there is the development, we'll let you know. And if you turned your speakers up earlier on, like I suggested, you'll thank me for it now. They're about to release an EP called Almost Home, and this is the sort of thing you can expect from it. This is a track called Heights.
Oh my God. I was going to say, I was completely speechless first time I tried to sing that, <laughs> but I decided against that. First time I heard that, I was absolutely gobsmacked. And to be honest, I was again that time. The band are called Dark Sight. That track is called Heights and it is absolutely amazing. So I'll be expecting to see an increase in their likes. Um, and a few of the names from our Two Box crew appearing on their likes list. Right, the next of our new bands are from Wolverhampton. They've been going since 2007 and uh, they're with Flying V Records. They go by the name of Anubis and despite having lost their singer very, very recently, they've carried on as a four piece and they are now the Pharaoh Simon Lees on guitars and vocals, Horus or Simon Haycock on rhythm guitar, Jackal Pete Williamson on bass, and Osiris Kev Bartlett on drums. So here they are with a track from their album The Waking Dead. This is Anubis with a track called Without Anesthetic.
So that's Anubis. The track was called Without Anesthetic from their album Waking the Dead, which does actually feature their previous singer, Sarah. But that's how you're likely to hear them play nowadays. And I have to say, I'll be more than happy to go and see them play. OK then, I'm planning on finishing the show with the final new band that I've got for you, which gives us a little bit of time to revisit some bands that we haven't played for a while. And for me to find you a guest band. So let's go. The next band up that I haven't played for quite a while, unforgivably, a beggar man's beard. So I think it's time to change all that. And I'm going to make amends with this track, El Mariachi. I should have flipping well known, shouldn't I? But I'm just going to stop halfway through a song. It's got to be Beggar Man's Beard. Do me a favour, guys. Give me a little fade or a little bit of advance notice. Nah, I need joking. Beggar Man's Beard, El Mariachi. It always finishes like that. Now the next band on that haven't had the airplay that they deserve recently. A Baleful Creed. Been a long time since we heard from them. So let's sort that out now as well, while we've got the chance. This is a track called Autumn Leaves.
So that's Baleful Creed back on the playlist with a track called Autumn Leaves. Now your guest band for this week are from Brighton. They go by the name of Stone Angels. And they are Niall Kersey on vocals, James Innes on guitar, Chris Wilson on bass, and Hugo Bowman on drums. They've just released their debut album, Give In To Temptation which they'll be touring next year, hopefully a little bit with us as well. And just a heads up for you guys, if you want to make a good impression with the boss, send me another copy of your album and have it signed to Vinny. He's very old school and that'll make a huge impression on him. I have a copy and it is a fantastic album. And this is the single from it. This is called Can You. I do like that. This week's guest band, Stone Angels, with the new single, Can You? So the final band of this show is going to be the final new band that I haven't introduced you to yet. They're from Norwich, and they're called Synaptic. And you spell that S-Y-N-A-P-T-I-K. And they are John Knight, the vocalist, Ian Knight and Jack Murden as your guitarists. Then you have Kev Jackson as the bassist and Pete Lodes as the drummist. And they say on their Facebook page, Synaptic combines the attack of melodic death metal with the deadly subtlety of progressive metal. And I say, let's let the music do the talking for them. So, here to tell you all about Synaptic is a track from their album The Mechanisms of Consequence. It's called Vacancy of Mind, and I'm out of here before my vocal cords give up completely. I missed it. It was some perfect moment. And it passed me right by. Curious to live! 